All right, in this question, we are given that the angle theta is right here, and this is the terminal side and intersect with the unit circle at this point, one half comma negative square root three over two, and we are going to figure out the exact value of all these trig functions, right? So this is a unit circle, right? So we should indicate that the radius here is one. Remember, on the unit circle, the x value here represents the cosine value, and the y right here represents the sine value. Remember, it's x comma y, and just because x is in front of y. And you can also think about cosine and then sine. C is in front of s. Well, that's not the right reason to um, have this, but that will help you to remember it. Anyways, so right here, we know right away sine theta is just this, negative square root of 3 over 2, and then the cosine value is 1 half, right? So we get this 2 done right away. And next, for tangent, well, right here, I just have to do sine over cosine. So I can show you guys the work right here. This is just going to be the sine value, which is negative square root of 3 over 2, and then over the cosine value, which is 1 half. This is technically a complex fraction, and we can just multiply the top and bottom by the 2. So that you see, the 2's actually cancel each other out. Altogether, you just have square root of 3, and that's negative square root of 3, over 1, which is just negative square root of 3. All right, now, next, for cosecant theta, it's just 1 over the sine value, so we just do this, right? 2 over negative square root of 3, and then you can go ahead and multiply the top and bottom by square root of 3, so that we see this is negative 2 square root of 3 over a regular 3. And then for secant is 2 over 1, which is just 2 over 1, it's 2. And lastly, we have the cotangent, which is the reciprocal of this. We can look at this as 1 over that for this, right? So it's 1 over negative square root of 3, and as usual, multiply by square root of 3 on the bottom and the top. At the end, you have negative square root of 3 over a regular 3. So this is pretty much it. You just have to remember cosine, comma, sine. That's it.